I got Sailor Moon, and she is in the animation colors. I don't know what the distinction is from the other SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon, because I don't have it. I got this one. So yeah, with all that being said, let's take a closer look at the box, and we'll get this bad girl open. Here is the front of our box. The artwork is really nice. I love this pink and like starry and moony uh, artwork on there. It's really cool. SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon Animation Color Edition. We've got the figure in a photo right there, and of course the figure is sticking out of the window and I Tamashi Nations. On this side we've got that line of Sailor Moon like when she's powering up in the show and it says Sailor Moon Animation Color Edition once again. On the back SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon, not gonna say it again what it is, simple style and heroic action and then we get some poses and some of the accessories and face plates and of course her cat is a Luna. I don't remember the name. I haven't seen the show in a long time. There's this side, top of the box, bottom of the box. And with all of that being said, let's get this bad girl open. So I just peeled the tape on the side and then we can pull Sailor Moon out and there she is. Oh my God, I'm so excited y'all, y'all don't understand. As you can see, we have our SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon out of the box. I'm trying to catch up on all my animes that I missed getting figures from them when I was a kid. And uh, she's a really cool figure. You can see that face sculpt is great. Super, super anime. Uh, she's got really skinny legs, which is nice that they include in a stand because I'm sure she wouldn't stand very well on her own. I haven't tested that theory out yet. She's got her sailor outfit with her wand weapon, which my sister had uh, an electronic version of a kid and I would as a kid and I would take it and play with that shit too because I was like, Sailor Moon is dope. I don't care. Uh, this is mine and I'm going to play with it. And um, it was hers and, and I kind of just said it's mine now. So yeah, now I actually have a Sailor Moon figure, so that's even better. And she's super awesome, so that's even better, better. Checking out her height, Sailor Moon, or Us Usagi, or Serena, depending on which version you watch, stands at five and a half inches tall. Going over the articulation, starting at the head, forward, backward, to the side, her pigtails, are also articulated so that's good shoulders it's a little bit weird because it has like a drop down and like kind of like weird I don't know how to explain it but there is nice movement there you just got to make sure you move it to the right place because it moves all over so we can get her to 90 degrees at the shoulders she does not have a bicep cut it's all done in this joint right here and then we get a single is it single or double it is a single joint that comes in over 90 degrees so that works and then of course with SH Figure Arts, those wrist pegs are always floating. And then we do have some torso articulation right there. Drop down hips, uh, forward, backward, to the side. Um, she can't quite kick her own butt, no boot cut. And then the rockers are there, but if her ankles, at least this ankle, is a little loose. So I might have to get some like joint stiffener to do that, but her articulation is pretty standard for SH Figure Arts. I'm it's an older figure though, like I don't know how much older but it's not like brand new but you know you can do all the sailor moon poses that you would want to so let's go over the accessories first of all the best thing that she comes with is this stand because like i said those ankles or at least that one ankle is a little loose so it makes it hard for my sailor moon figure to stand but we get that stand and that is really nice we also get swappable face plates there are three of them of course there's a kind of oh no I'm scared I'm crying face and then we get the um the chibi eyes and the like happy like serene kind of everything's okay face and then we get the uh, determined um fighting face where she's kind of like yelling like I'm gonna kick your butt by the power of the moon I will punish you and then of course she has the face that she has on right now which is kind of just a neutral kind of neutral face that you can see hopefully um and they're swappable, you just take the bangs off and swap her face. So if, you, if you're familiar with H Figure Arts, then you'll know that. And then we get her um, staff wand thingy, and it comes with that hand for holding it, which uh, I count as an accessory. And then of course, because it's SH Figure Arts, we get a lot of alternate hands. And being an anime, gesturing hands are pretty important to a character. And we get quite a few. As you can see, we get like a peace sign and the like, it, it's a rock on sign to us, but it's something else in Japan. It's like, oh no, I'm scared or I'm worried or whatever. And then we get open hands and fists and all that good stuff that you'd expect for Sailor Moon. So she's kind of like, oh, and I almost forgot. I can't believe I almost forgot. We get Luna and she's articulated as well. And she's a talking cat. She's got a moving tail. 
And yeah, that is the accessories for our SH Figuarts. Sailor Moon Usagi. First up for scale and comparison, here she is with SH Figure Arts Conan Edogawa from Case Closed, and of course Goku. We all know where Goku's from, I don't have to say it. Sorry, I'm putting my hair up while I'm recording this, I don't know why. Here she is with some Marvel Legends. We have Venom and Spider-Man. Some Ayla Sakura and Darth Maul action next to Sailor Moon for Black Series. Here she is next to some Jada and Foosh toys with Chester Cheetah and the martial artist Akat. And I was looking at the foodstore.com the other day while well, I was trying to, but I, it's not there, so I couldn't. Um, and I was predicting that would happen, so that kind of sucks. So with all that being said, y'all, I will say that the SH Figure Arts Sailor Moon is totally worth it because she's totally worth it to me. I mean, look at her. Sailor Moon in, in your hand. Super cool. Can't beat it. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. Pretty please. I'm asking you very nicely, so please do it. And uh, comment down below, let me know how your day is going, if you like this figure, if you want to get this figure, what else, what else you're looking forward to coming out, all that good stuff, let me know. Uh, and of course, check out my Patreon, it's a dollar a month, so you can see videos like this early. Uh, yeah, do all that stuff. I love you, I will see you next time, and bye bye Mwah.